Hey everyone, I wanted to play a clip, or actually the full introductory video of my latest course, LLC Incorporation Tips and Tricks. For anyone that's interested in starting a business in 2024, 2025, or even beyond that, or you wanna take your business or side hustle to the next level and you're a little nervous on having somebody do the documents for you for starting an LLC or a corporation, I'm gonna put this uh, video, attach it to this. This is the pre-filming discount. It's good for two more days, it's $20. I put a lot of time and money into uh, putting this out there because I know that this is something, a pain point for a lot of people starting to uh, branch out and move into the business world. And you're just a little nervous and you're also really nervous on who to trust in the industry. Trust me, I've learned a lot of lessons. So enjoy this if you want. Links down below, it's $20. I cannot make that a more no-brainer uh, discount for you. For a lot of people that are nervous and wanting to move out, step out on their own. Here you go. I wish I had this kind of info when I was starting my first entity way, way, way back when. All right, enjoy. Hello, and welcome to this new course, LLC Incorporation Tips and Tricks. Now, there are so many different reasons why you may be taking this course. Either you wanna start a new business and you're trying to navigate the documents and paperwork and you, don't just, you just don't know where to start, or possibly you already have a side hustle or an established business that you want to jump in to starting an LLC or a corporation because you're doing a sole proprietorship. Or possibly you already have a corporation and you're looking to diversify or fine tune the documents that you have in front of you. Try and save money, try and stay out of court, things like that, right? Well, there's so many different reasons and we plan on hitting those in this course. Now, first, the question is why even make this jump? Well, one of the biggest reasons why you should is because there's no set uh, you know, solid rule on the internet, but when CPAs, and enrolled agents are asked, what is better when it comes to an IRS audit? Who has less risk? One that has an LLC or a corporation, as opposed to somebody that has a sole proprietorship or doing like a DBA, a doing business as situation. And what we found on the internet is between uh, all, you know, the consensus between CPAs, it falls between 25 and 33% greater increase of being audited when you're running your business as a sole proprietor and your all of your deductions and your income are coming through your personal tax return. Now, I want you to understand, bullet number two says, none of this is legal or tax advice. Even though during this course, I'm gonna be bringing in two rock solid attorneys that their job is to set up corporations for people. And before I ever became a YouTuber, years before, I had this company doing my documents, setting up my stuff because I shopped around and I found them to be the best value. But the purpose of this course is to get you awakened to the, the facts of what are the differences uh, between the different types of entity structures? What are the possibilities for getting sued? What are some ways that you can avoid that? And then how to do it yourself if you want to. If you wanna pay someone, we're gonna show you that avenue uh, to save money, give you those tips and tricks. If you wanna do it yourself, we're gonna show you some avenues that will obviously save you money and heartache. So couple questions or things to go over in this introduction video is, do you already have a sole proprietorship? If you do, what we're going to do is we're going to give you some ideas of different entity structures, and that's going to, that's going to, you know, vary greatly compared to what you're doing right now and where you want to go. Um, like one of the big points when you're asking yourself, hey, where do I start? You have to ask yourself a couple questions like how big will the business be? You know, not a lot of people actually plan ahead of time for success. As a matter of fact, some people get caught up in planning for success and all they see is failure ahead of them and they never even start. So I always suggest people just start. You can start, get a separate bank account, start doing it yourself, your own sole proprietorship, but then look pretty quickly into transitioning that when you know it's something that you enjoy, when it's something that's going to make money, it's gonna work, you wanna transition into that entity, starting the LLC or the corporation, then starting the proper bank account, making sure all of your ducks in a row and everything's uh, clean and legitimate in the eyes of the IRS, right? Well, some of those things you've gotta ask yourself because once you start one entity, it's pretty easy to start the next and the next. But I have to warn you, I once ran into a person um, 
that was LLC crazy. I'm not joking, they had 11 LLCs. They did not have 11 bank accounts. And none of those 11, there was actually two that were legit businesses, that they were doing something. They just learned how to file documents with the state and they started filing documents like crazy and it ended up becoming a nightmare for their tax uh, person because every single time you uh, fire up an entity, you get to file a tax return with it. So we'll talk about timing and things like that. But one of the things you have to ask is, do you want shareholders? Well, that depends. Do you wanna raise money for a, a business by using shareholder money or do you want to use debt or a combination? So that's gonna be one thing you're gonna be talking to your tax advisor about, uh, and a lawyer, things like that. Another thing is how many employees are you gonna have, if any? That's gonna also play into that structure. And then what kind of income do you wanna derive? You know, a lot of CPAs, again, this isn't tax advice, they usually have a threshold between 80 and $120,000 a year where they go, okay, you're an LLC or a corporation, let's move from uh, that standard entity into putting an S selection on top. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the course, okay? But my point being is you have to put down these ideas. Now we all know that businesses tend to grow. If they're going well, they're gonna grow and that's okay. Your entity structure can grow with you to a certain point, okay? But that's what we're gonna teach you here in this course, where to start to where you don't have to go from one type of entity to the next to the next, because it does cause pain. It's a pain and it costs money, right? Then we're gonna talk about you know when to start the docs. A lot of people race out, especially they take a course and they go race out and they start uh, an LLC mid-November or 1st of December and you don't even really have any income coming in yet. Well, guess what? Come January 1st, the IRS is gonna be expecting, or your state, depending on what state you're in, they're gonna be expecting a tax return and you're gonna be paying fees. So some entities, depending on where you're at right now, you're not gonna to wanna to start until the 1st of January because you're gonna have that whole next year, right? Those fees are good for a year. Why start an entity if the fees are already gonna be done for a month or good for a month? Um, that's another point. Then how to start the banking or transfer banks. That's really important. Um, people need to understand that you can't start a legitimate business bank account, an LLC uh, corporate account without an EIN and other things. And so when you file, you'll be filing for those documents. We're gonna talk about those in the course as well. And then we're gonna be talking through this entire thing? Is this a do-it-yourself kind of situation or should you pay someone to do it, okay? And you don't have to pay one person. You know, I got taken by a CPA a long time ago that started me in an S corporation in California, charged me a ton of money. I'm not joking. I paid around $3,600 for that, where really I found a great service that that's all they do. And they did it for uh, $850 back then. And it was and still, that was an LLC as, comp as opposed to this, uh, and it's C-Corp or this S-Corp. So my point being is, as you're going through this, I wanna give you all the tools to be able to identify problems in your plan and things you can do to make your plan more successful when it comes to starting an LLC. Look, the fact of the matter is, I wanna set, set up LLCs in different states for different reasons based on legal protections, that's the number one thing, and specific tax issues. There's a couple, only a couple of tax write-offs that actually you can get with an LLC or a C-Corp. Really, generally, 98% of the tax write-offs, legal tax write-offs that are out there, you can use in either scenario, but it's totally different. When you actually apply to have your uh, taxes reviewed by the IRS and you have an LLC or a corporation, they are looking at just that tax return. You are presenting it to them saying, this is all the money I brought in, this is all the money I spent, this is what I'm left with, either a profit or a loss. And they're looking at that, they identify if, if everything is looking good and they accept or deny it. Then the profit or loss follows through, depending on the entity structure, into your own personal life. Well, think about when the IRS is looking at a sole proprietorship and you have a job, your spouse may have a job and you've got some write-offs with your kids, but then you also have this side hustle and there's money coming in, there's money going out. And I just tried to write off a truck. They're looking at your entire life in one thing. And like I said, none of this is tax advice, but it's just logical that you would not want the IRS looking at that entire thing of spaghetti, okay? So we wanna talk about documents, how to stay organized, um, how to keep your LLC and corporation documents organized. You know, every year, it's really important that you update certain documents, you, you bring in the new information. 
when your business changed last year and you keep that uh, organization document, the uh, uh, letters of organization, and all of those documents really high and tight because if you don't, you're gonna be able to witness somebody piercing the veil of your protection and that is not what we want. I'm gonna start with a couple of uh, really basic lessons on different entity structures, stuff that you can find anywhere. And then we're gonna bring on the rock stars, Ted and Garrett Sutton from Corporate Direct. They're gonna be doing all kinds of lessons with me on um, the pros and cons of different entities and all kinds of stuff. So bear with me. Thank you so much for purchasing this class. And now let's move on to the rest of this course.